Hello students today we will be discussing the topic nano materials so what are nano materials the materials whose grain size lies between 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer are called nano phase materials nano means it is 10 power minus 9 meters these materials can be metals alloys intermetallics or ceramics they have unique structure so that the nano materials will possess high strength hardness brittleness and toughness these are newly developed that is recently developed materials so they show many new properties they have a three dimensional structure with the domain size smaller than that of 100 nanometers a cluster of nanoparticles contains less than 10 power minus 4 molecules or atoms corresponding only to a diameter of few nanometers. So when these small size particles are there, we can get different properties. That is when compared to the bulk, the electronic, optical, electrical, magnetic, chemical and mechanical properties will be different when we come down to nano size. They also show non-linear optical and magnetic properties. Let us look into how the nano materials are synthesized. We have actually two types. One is top down approach and bottom up approach. Right. So as the name suggests, so size reduction to nano scale for assembly. When you go bottom up, it is assembly from atoms to from molecules to nanostructure. They can be prepared using various techniques. Some of the techniques are mechanical alloying techniques, inert gas condensation, sol gel technique. In metallic alloying technique, nano size particles are produced by mechanical deformation. During mechanical alloying, repeated deformation, fracture and rewelding of particle will take place and this will result in nano crystalline and it will show high homogeneity. In inert gas condensation, the base material is evaporated and the evaporation is allowed to condense in a chamber. The chamber will be filled with inert gas. Inert gas means that do not uh, react. The evaporated atoms comes into contact with the inert gas so that the nano phase materials are condensed as particles. In sol gel technique, nitrates are taken as precursors and they are dissolved in deionized water. The solution is kept at suitable temperature and some amount of gel is added. Right? The substrate are taken, they are dipped into a solution and the gel is formed. So after which annealing will take place so that we get thin films of nano materials. Now let us move on to the properties. Nano materials are characterized by low melting point, low solid state phase transition pressure, high self diffusion coefficient, high catalytic activity and lower ferroelectric phase transition temperature. Thin film of nanoparticles are produced at very low cost. They have mechanical, electrical, optical, chemical, semiconducting and magnetic properties and all depends on the grain size. The lower the grain size, higher will be the property. The interparticle spacing decreases with size due to competition between long range electronic forces and short range core core repulsion. They have high strength, super hardness, they have large volume function of grain boundaries and they have large ratio between surface area and volume. So this property actually improves the mechanical property that is uh, normally when you see the ceramics they have high hardness. They have very high magneto resistance. Now coming to the application part, based on the materials we can have two types of application. That is a structural application and functional application. Structural applications are based on mechanical properties of nano phase materials and they are actually used to produce plastic, ceramics and extremely hard metals. Functional applications are based on the transformation of external signal like filtering of light, change of electrical resistance in various gas concentration and luminescent behavior when they are electrically activated. So actually this process is actually used to produce very tiny permanent magnets with high energy pro uh, product that is your BR into HC. They are also used in high density magnetic recording. They are also used for high temperature superconductors. 
they are used to produce quantum wells quantum dots and quantum wires with having high quantum confinement produced from semiconductor nanomaterials which act as computer storage material with high density nanomaterials are used for fabrication of signal processing elements such as filters delay lines switches etc they are also used to make semiconductor laser nano transistors etc they are also used as current controlling device such as thermistors nano particles are also used as fuel cells and infrared windows which are effective in defense application thank you